the Wolfpack Family News. This week, we'd like to highlight our special services department. This group of educators provide relevant specialized instructional services for our students with disabilities in the least restrictive environment. This group definitely helps all students succeed and reach their maximum potential, and Greenboro High School is lucky to have such a fine group of educators. We'd also like to remind all students and parents to check Infinite Campus regularly. Next week is week eight of the first nine weeks. It's hard to believe, but first nine weeks is coming to a close. All students at Greenboro High School are eligible for a free meal. Students that are on campus merely put their lunch number in as they go through the line. Learn from home students may request meals via our website and pick them up between noon and one each day. We do ask that those who request meals please make every effort to pick them up. Homecoming is right around the corner. It will be the week of September 28th. We will have a homecoming parade here at the school complex on Wednesday beginning at 630, followed by a pep rally at the stadium. Our presentation of the court will conclude the week's activities on Friday, October 2nd at halftime of the Greenbrier versus Loganville game. October is going to be a busy month here at, on the school's campus. All 10th graders should mark their calendar. We will be administering the PSAT to Group A students on Wednesday, October 14th, and Group B students on Thursday, October 29th. Our All-A Academic Letter Ceremony will take place in the stadium on Monday, October 26th at 6 p.m. Should it rain, this ceremony will move to Tuesday, October 27th. All seniors, it's time to place your senior ads in the yearbook. Ads are on sale and right now are offered at the prices listed here on our slide. After October 30th, they will go up an additional $25. If you have questions, please contact Mr. Steve Jones in the Lit Department and he will be able to assist you. Speaking of assists, how about that Lady Wolfpack volleyball team? They have a 17-0 record. They were set to play here at home tonight, but that game has been rescheduled due to our weather. We'd like to recognize our team seniors, Eve Denard, Bella Lynch, and Natalie Potter. Way to go, Lady Pack. Keep up your strong winning streak. Speaking of winning, the Greenbrier Cross Country team placed in the Carrollton Invitational on Saturday, September 12th. Millie Quick finished 7th overall and Hunter Martin finished 10th. Way to go, cross country team. Keep up. Greenbrier High School football will play Lakeside this Friday night here at home. We would like to remind all members of the Wolfpack family that masks must be worn as you enter and leave the stadium. All students in the student section will be required to wear a mask at all times. Families are encouraged to sit in family units and social distancing is highly encouraged. No students or parents will be allowed on the playing field. No tickets will be sold at the gate Friday night. Upcoming events this current week, as you can see, we have a packed schedule. It should be noted that the ring ceremony for all juniors who order rings will take place in the gym on Monday, September 21st. Again, we would like to remind all PAC members that the end of the nine weeks is right around the corner on Friday, October 2nd. In a world where negativity is a norm, we would like to ask members of the Wolfpack family to be pack positive. To quote Captain Jack Sparrow, the problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. As we close out week seven of our school year, let's have positive attitudes and outlooks. We have much to be thankful for because together we are pack strong. We look forward to seeing you here on Greenbrier High School's campus in the coming weeks as we work to maintain a positive educational environment for all of our students and look forward to great successes that the 2021 school year will bring.